Are you tired of being tired and not hitting your goals? Are you tired of sitting in the bed and watch your dreams pass by? Well, I'm here to tell you, you're not lazy. So step one to exiting your lazy girl era is to do activities that bring you joy. Perhaps you've been doing too much work or you haven't found the balance that you need of a social life, work balance, or you're just overall exhausted, which we all understand. Doing activities that bring you joy, bring back colors to life. It's like when you're burnt out, tired, and not motivated, it's like your life is like black and white. As soon as you bring in activities that bring you joy, your life is filled with color again. It truly has helped me on my journey getting back to being disciplined is doing things that bring me joy consistently, rewarding myself with things that bring me joy after I complete my goals. And that's something that you have to do, whether it's taking a day of rest and doing nothing, Pilates, stretching, all different types of activities. Tennis could also be walking around the park or just taking some self-care needed time for you. In order for me to stay in my feminine, I have to have a day where I do nothing or at least rest 50% of the time. Why? Because I am not a robot. Personally, I cannot function off of just go, 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 go. But taking that time and needed rest or just doing activities that you love will really help provide that work balance in your life so that you can love your life and also love what you want to achieve as well. Now, we're gonna come back and assess where we went wrong. Was it overstimulation? Was it too much discipline, not enough balance? Was it people? Was it my work? Where in your downhill, where you went wrong? It's important to assess where you went wrong so that we can figure out next time on what not to do overwhelming ourselves with so much work that we can't constantly complete in one day just to overwhelm ourselves. Breaking it down to small tasks is the solution. It's time to create three routines. You heard me, three routines. If you don't know now, well, you know. We need a productive routine. We need a bare minimum routine and a self-care routine. Productive routine is where you rely solely on discipline, doing things whether you have the motivation to do them or not. Bare minimum routine can be done around our menstrual cycle. For example, if you have some homework assignments to do, but normally on top of reading other books, doing other activities, maybe that week you don't do that activities and you just hit your assignment goals. That is bare minimum routine. Work out three times a week while you're working out at least one times a week. That still makes a difference. Self-care routine is really just important to prioritize you. Taking care of your body, taking your vitamins, drinking your water, spending longer times in the shower, exfoliating, scrubbing your skin, doing your skincare routine to build all of this so that it can better help build your consistency in your routine. Okay, so tip number four is to remember self-care. Yes, we have three routines, but this is just to take a pause and take a reminder. It's not just focusing on our skincare routine or our hair care routine. It's also prioritizing our fitness, making sure we're drinking enough water, make sure we're going to the doctor, taking enough vitamins, valuing our screen time, digital detoxing, prioritizing your spiritual needs, your physical needs, your mental needs. This will literally bring you out of your lazy girl era because if you figure out like the main problem, for example, with when I seep into my lazy girl era-ness is I'm not putting my self-care needs first. I'm not keeping up my looks. I'm not keeping up with my journal or my Bible. And those are the things that you may also want to pay attention to. So just remember self-care only you can take care of you as good as you this is a huge one embrace discipline over motivation discipline over motivation say it with me discipline over motivation i will take discipline any day over motivation why because i lose motivation so quick like if i literally was just like i don't have the motivation to do this and this and this and that it would be so crazy that 
I probably wouldn't get anything done. Motivation too, I wouldn't have a feeling. Motivation involves feeling. Discipline involves consistency. Are you gonna do it whether you feel like it or not? Are you gonna make sure that you take the next series steps so that you are financially stable or so that you can move forward in your life? Discipline is so important, especially as an adult. We have to have discipline, whether we're feeling feminine, whether we're feeling masculine. Some things we just have to have that awe ofness to do. Getting a routine, that's discipline. That's why I said it's important to have three. Your productive one, your bare minimum one, and your self-care routine. Consistency is so important because that repetitiveness of the same routine, you'll just instantly do when you wake up. It's already a healthy habit. Motivation goes off of feelings. One day you feel like doing this, one day you don't. One day you next feel like this and you don't. It just puts a bunch of roadblocks in your life. You build discipline in your life instead of consistency when you're lazy you'll still meet your goals which is crazy to say but yes you'll still meet your goals. and that's not setting clear goals clear goals equals a sense of direction sometimes i ask myself why am i doing this why am i doing that and it's because i don't have a full long-term direction you want to create goals where you can see the goal prospering into something having a big impact on people, whatever it may be, set a clear goal with a set clear direction. That way you know the exact direction you're going to. So you can know the steps to take. If I don't know the steps to take, then I'm gonna have an unclear day. I'm not gonna have clarity about what I need to do next, how I need to move forward. So setting a clear direction of what do you wanna do or what goal do you wanna have and how do you get there and what are the small tasks every day you need to do or need to take that is direction but just putting a big goal in front of you and not knowing what to take then that equals a sense of no direction you have the long term but we need to focus on the present of how we're going to get there as well so just remember to set clear goals so that you can have a clear direction then i wish that i would have known this a long time ago but it's to be compassionate with ourselves everyone goes through ups and downs phases of lack of motivation the motivation we get on our cycle sometimes and i know this for a fact for me that i just don't want to do anything like i don't want to lift a finger and that's when i work around my schedule of the bare minimum and i literally pre before i know before i come on my cycle i literally pre-plan and pre-record all my videos and i schedule them all because i know i don't want to lift a finger and i still want to hit my goal People also go through these phases of like ups and downs of being motivation, being having low motivation as well. We won't be so hard on ourselves and saying, hey, we need to get this together. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. You're not doing, hey, it happens. Things do. We just have to keep getting up. That makes us different. The difference between somebody that's lazy and wants to sit there and not do anything with their lives is the difference between you right now watching this video. You right now watching this video clearly wants to take action, clearly wants to get up. You see you're suffering you want to get up from what you're doing and start moving and as long as you keep getting up and keep trying that's all that matters because you're going to get to your goal set boundaries with training individuals okay like believe it or not there are people out there that want to drain your energy for real for real and i'm telling you set boundaries with the people if you literally have to like not call them or you know schedule your texts or you know call them at a certain time or a certain day whenever you're not busy or whatever the case may be or create distance so that they know like you know that they're doing this or maybe even tell them about it in a nice and friendly way because people out here are energy vampires and they want your good energy and they want to take it away and if you ever feel like you know you get invited to some function type of event hanging out with your friends and every time you come back home you feel drained those i'm gonna be honest those aren't the right people you want to be around because a real you know individual that meshes well with you is not somebody who's going to drain your energy you're going to feel even more energetic to be around y'all are going to come together and create even more not somebody taking less of what you're bringing to the table so make sure you watch out for that and to set boundaries with people like that so that you can also do well in your life just frustrating when you bring somebody into your life and you have to slow down what you're doing to help them. Or do we feel like you're not gaining anything out of the conversation? You don't feel like you're like learning anything or you're, you always feel like drained. Like, why am I even here? You know, start setting those boundaries. Start saying no. Start scheduling the time to talk to them. Start texting them a certain way so that they can know that, you know, 
setting boundaries, okay? Because being lazy as an era is cute and all, but when somebody is specifically taking that energy away from you, from your focus, from your reality of what you need to be doing, then that's a problem and you ha you are the only one that can fix it and tell that person hey you know when i come around you i have i'm really energetic but then when i leave i'm super drained i don't know if it has something to do with me being an introvert or extrovert whatever it can be but i would like to do da -da -da this and that's how you're going to take action boundary alrighty so we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you want more videos like this don't forget to watch my step into your dream woman playlist right here that i'll link and comment down below more tips i really want to know and see in the comments we'll see y'all in the next video thank you so much for watching and i truly hope this helped you exit your lazy girl era see you in the next video